So in this video, we're looking at arithmetic sequences and series. Uh, now, an arithmetic uh, sequence looks something like this. There's our arithmetic sequence. Now, it's called an arithmetic sequence because we've got some arithmetic here adding on 1.5 each time. Okay, so it's being added, a constant number is being added each time. So what this formula here does is tell you the nth term. So if I want to know what will the 50th term of this sequence be, then I'm finding t50, the 50th term, the 50th term, the nth term. Now that's going to be equal to a, which is the first number. In this case, the first number is 3, plus n, which is my nth term, the number of terms I want, so 50, minus 1, to the power of d, which is the common difference. And the common difference you can see here is 1.5. So 3 plus 49 times 1.5, that's going to give us an answer of something. And our 50th term is going to be 76.5. All right, so that's an arithmetic sequence. That's giving us our nth term. And you might also get asked about an arithmetic series. Now, the arithmetic series is the sum of the terms. So 3 plus 4.5 plus 6 plus 7.5 plus 9. So you might get asked, find the sum of the first 100 terms. In order to do that, we're going to need a different formula. All right, so there's our formula. Sn, so uh, the, the sum of the nth n terms is equal to n over 2, blah, 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 blah. Let's go. So if we want the first 100 terms, S100, N is the number of terms, so 100 over 2, open a bracket, 2 times A, which is the first term, 3, plus N again, so N is uh, 100, minus 1, times uh, the common difference, which is 1.5. Okay. Uh, we can type that all into our calculator in one shot if we're careful and we should get an answer. And if we add the first 100 terms together, we'll get 7,725. Uh, so that plus, plus, plus 100 times. All right, there's uh, arithmetic sequences and series. I think that's pretty much all we need to do. There's some sneaky little problem-solving questions, but uh, we'll talk about them in class. Uh, let's go.